Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, Matthias Weiss. And yeah, we are again <laughs> modifying or testing in modified version of my new heat shield. Yeah, the last design <coughs> I liked it very much, but it had a very, very bad, uh, a very negative point, and that was the holes for the engines. So I thought a little bit and I searched a little bit in the internet if uh, there were any sliding parts or something like that where with which I could uh, cover the engine holes, but I didn't find anything suitable. So what did I do? I just mounted everything on the top of the rocket. So now we have a fully covered heat shield on the top of our docking port. And yeah, in this design you also can see my, uh, well let's go a little bit faster again to read the atmosphere. You can also see the small rover attached uh, on the bottom of our part, our rocket. And of course another docking port which will be used to connect this ship to the main ship. It will be jettisoned, but you will see that later. So, let's make another test in the atmosphere. So, uh, with this design <coughs> we have to uh, point prograde, of course. And it makes it a little bit more difficult because uh, once we detach the heat shield we have to turn the craft around by 180 degrees before we can uh, use the parachutes. Okay, diving through the atmosphere here. So now everything looks fine. So let's want let's just wait for the first flames. Which should start about now. Oh yeah. There it comes. And as you see, everything's going around the sides of the spacecraft. So we have these effects here, but this is more uh, than a gra more like a graphics effect. So we don't have heat at all at the moment. But the design itself looks pretty stable, and we have no leaking flames anymore at the engine parts like the last time. are out almost just wait another second and it's time to jettison turn retrograde and yeah there goes the docking port on the downside which we also don't need anymore turn off ICS and yeah, I thought this this turn would be more suicidal, but it actually worked pretty pretty fine. So all in all, I think this design is a major improvement, and of course makes it more realistic, if you can say that. I'm still speaking about Kerbal Space Program. So of course we have another docking port on the front, so when we go back into orbit, or when we, when we would go back into orbit on another planet, then we would just... Uh, ooh, what was that? What was that noise? I don't know. Uh, we would of course dock to our main craft with this docking port. Ah. 
power parts crash to the ground. And of course this is just a standard landing. Oh, we're coming down pretty close here. Yeah, I would say that is pretty close to the launch pad. Wow, I love MacJab. Okay, so this was, uh, as I said, only the short demonstration of a fixed, uh, more realistic version of my heat shield. I would still like the idea by u with using uh, the sliding parts uh, for our uh, heat shield to cover the holes. And I would still like that idea, but it's okay that it's not working at the moment. Because we have our little rover, which we can detach. And yeah, I will not drive around because it's just a standard rover. But it survived the fall even on this planet without any uh, without any injuries or without any parts breaking off, better said. And yeah, as you see you can drive it outside. And this is my actual Mark 7 version of my Pollux atmospheric lander. I hope you liked the new improvements on the heat shield and as always feel free to leave comments. My name is Matthias Weiss and fly safe. Ciao!